So, do you remember what I asked you? Ask again, go ahead. Okay, so I, my question was, because you said that, uh, that other prophets are called Messiah. Sure. So, I asked you, is there anywhere in the Quran or the Hadith where anybody else other than Jesus is called the Messiah? As you have seen, this is an editor's note, starting with, Dear reader, for goodness sake, it is a modern comment by a modern editor. It is not a Hadith. He made a small typo. He switched the letters around to something that resembles the word that Othman ibn Fibbin wants it to be. He wants it to be plural of Messiah, but it isn't. What's going on, man? We found you, man. What masters of Hadith narration does not know that no Hadith narration starts with so dear reader, did you not read the context of the footnote? Did you know that it talks about the Christian Inquisition? Are you done? Uh, that's my question. Did you, you know? Speaking? Did you know? Here's my question. Uh, please answer this. Did you know that in the footnote that you quoted, that it starts talking about the Christian Inquisitions? Did you know that? Are you done speaking? Because when I speak <laughs> and you interrupt, then we're not going to have this you, conversation. You seem nervous, okay. man. I'm not. All right, so I just then, don't like being interrupted. No, you seem a little nervous. The 14th century, uh, uh, 1400s to the 1800s. Okay, show me. It names the Christian show me. Inquisition. Show me, man. What is the, this is about the Spanish what's the, Inquisition. What's the Christian Inquisition? Okay, now. It says the Christian Inquisition, and we all know exactly what that is. We all know exactly what it is. It says Christian Inquisition. Where, where does it say that? Wait, you don't know where it says it? I don't see Christian okay. uh, or Spanish Inquisition. Show me. No, no. Oh, wait. You don't Spanish. see. Oh, Spanish yeah. Inquisition. You, I told you there's uh, many. So it does say the Christian Inquisition, correct? Show me where. No, no, no. You're wait. Talking about. Does it say the Christian Inquisition? Show me the word that no, no, I can tell no, you. No, no, no. Does it say? No, 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 do you read the Arabic? I read the Arabic. So do you? Yeah. Sorry. Where does it say the Christian Inquisition? It's not in this paragraph. It's in the... Where is it? Now you show it to me. I'm going to have to use show my phone to, to go on and show them the, oh, the English you, translation. You don't know where it's I don't, I don't, th I don't think you, 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 you know you, the you Arabic. I want you, can you read, can you read this uh, from under this? Can you read from this line here? Can you read that line? Can you read that for us and say what it says? Right. But not that part. I, it Christian said the Christian Inquisition yeah. in there somewhere. Word. So I need you to translate word Taftish for word. Mahakam al Taftish. Yeah. This one. Mahakam al Taftish. Yeah. What is this? Well, that, what that is that? Doesn't Tra translator. Hold on. I'm not familiar with like Mahakam al Taftish, what it is. Mahakam al Taftish or Nasraniya. So when you said Inquisition, Christian you went Inquisition, to correct? The Christian I, I, Inquisition. I don't know what, an inqui it, what it, the Inquisition is. It's okay, but it says Christian but, Inquisition, no, correct? No, it does not. Yes, he just admitted it. He just admitted it. Mahakam al Taftish, right, are the uh, the judicial uh, findings of Christianity. The judicial, the judicial, the judicial findings of Christianity. Okay. Listen, listen. I'm listening. Thank this you, bro. This is not Thank you, Christian Inquisition. Thank you, bro. This is Thank not you, Christian Inquisition. Now, don't touch it. Why? Because you're nudges, bro. I'm what? Nudges? You're nudges. You're not huh? a nudge. Yeah, yeah. So what, what is a nudges? What is that? Nudges, you haven't made ghusl. You haven't done What is a nudges? What does that mean? Nudges is you're not in a state of purity. Only people in the So you're calling me dirty. Filthy, yeah, dirty. Yeah, filthy. Yeah, filthy. Yeah. You're calling me filthy. Yeah, yeah you don't know who wow, the father is. Wow, I love it. Good. True colors is coming out, man. Right, but he's a messenger. What, wait, what book is this? What book is this? Ibn Abi Shaiba. Ibn Abi Shaiba? Oh, Musanaf. This is uh, Ibn Abi Hatim. Ibrahim was a Nikai. Al Masih, a Siddiq. Right? The Masih. Translate. I'm translating, bro. Listen. So I gave you the chain. Al Masih has the meaning of those that are. No, it doesn't say those. It's not it plural. Does. It says Siddiq. Not those. Okay. Stop. Al Masih. The, the Messiah. The Messiah. Is. Is thank you. Honest, so right? thank you. It's not the who? Sahih. No problem. Okay. So now, so wait, let's let's pause here because I love what you just did. What good, you good, good. but I had to catch you. How because you what you what you tried to do okay. is that you tried to say that this hadith is uh -huh. applying it to those is in the plural okay. multiple. No, it's not. It's talking right. about one person, one messiah. It, it says out it says the messiah, okay. the messiah is an uh, is honest. They are the ones that are anointed. They are the it's ones. The Right? They, wait, wait, they are the ones? It doesn't mention here, but it doesn't mention here, but it doesn't mention here, but I'll show you. I got you, I got you, right? I don't, I, why do I have to keep catching you on this? Word for word, translate. The one anointed, the one anointed. The one? Okay, hold on. 
Beautiful. The oh, one? No, I got you. The one? I got you. I got so it's talking about one? No, it doesn't say the no, one. It doesn't say the no, one. Not. The one anointed? No, it doesn't say the no, one. But it's <laughs> <laughs> That's what you just said. Let, go back. Please go back. You're scared. You're scared. It's all on camera. Please go. It's all on camera. Don't touch me. No, it's all on camera. Chef, please go back. All right. Chef is running. Oh, my God. Don't pull up and over. Don't ever say that again. We would agree that God knows everything, right? Yeah. When we look in your Bible, Mark 13:32. Have you read the previous verses before that? Sure. So what's it about? Assuredly, I say to you. No, what's it about? I mean, I haven't memorized it. You don't know? No, Come no. on, man. I've read that. When you bring a verse, okay, yeah, yeah. you got it highlighted, gotcha. I'm expecting you to know the context. Sure. So tell what me. is he talking about? I, I mean, I've read the Bible cover to cover, right? Come on, but Shake. But now you tell me the context. Okay, so right. I'll, I'll tell you now. Go for it. So the context is, Jesus is literally, detail for detail, telling you everything that's about to happen okay. up until his coming okay detail by detail Excellent. destruction of the of the temple right. destruction of the city right how the people how the persecution is going to come okay the rebuilding of the temple okay the abomination of the antichrist is going to come gotcha and how the sun will be darkened detail by detail by detail, detail by detail, detail by, by detail okay. exactly and then all of a sudden uh -huh. says oh well no one knows the, the day of the hour not even the sun but the father in heaven so Another way that this you can look at this, okay, which is the correct way contextually, okay, is that Jesus is not speaking of knowledge when it comes to ignorance, but he's talking about declarative. So go to uh, First Corinthians for me, chapter two. Go for it. Here you go. You don't know where it is, know where man. You got all right. Go I, to I, I it, man. Two Corinthians. I was just trying to help you. Wrong way, man. Got to go the other yeah. way. Corinthians in the New Testament. Shake. I got you. I got you. Relax. Uh, we've gone over Corinthians many a time. All right, good. You should know where it is. We will get You're rusty, you. man. You got all these highlights. I I'm just showing you an example of how Noah's asking, used. So I can be clear. I, I already told you. Okay. You got yeah. <laughs> So this is what he says. Um, and I, brethren, when I came to you, right? So he visited the the, the believers in Corinth. Okay. Uh, did not come with excellent of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. Okay. For I determined not to know anything. Okay. among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified okay so here's my question to you okay when he says that I determined okay to not know anything okay. except Jesus and him crucified okay does that literally mean that Paul didn't know anything except Jesus and him crucified sure so here definitely Paul from again I'm not an expert on the Bible you're just asking my opinion right uh, just, sure just, lo just, just a logical conclusion no, 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 there's not a lot because again you would have to be looking at the textual background and all that, but I can tell you my opinion. In my opinion, what he's saying is that the emphasis that all he has is on Jesus and his crucifixion. Exactly. Right? But there's a difference here. This is why I said you can't play with verses. There's not a difference. Oh, I wasn't done. Look, you're not done? No, because there's, okay, uh, there's not a difference. I'll let you finish. So, Uthman, listen. Go ahead. When you, when, you, when you see a clear example sure. where Paul says, I determined to know nothing right. except... Okay. Jesus gotcha. and him crucified. Gotcha. So that means that it's not that he didn't know anything. Gotcha. It means that he only decided to declare or make known gotcha. Jesus and him crucified. Excellent. Clear example of how Noah is used. So at, go to Acts chapter 1. Because he's asked the same question. And notice how differently he answers. Gotcha. Acts chapter 1. So it says, Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel. Same question that they asked him, right? Okay, well, it's the hour of his resurrection. Right, and, the, and at the hour, he's talking about how the Son of Man will come and restore Israel. Okay. That's the same context of Mark, right? right? Go ahead. We, agree, we in agreement? Kind of. Okay, Go good. Ahead. All right, so I, I'll take that. Go ahead. So watch what Jesus says. Okay. Verse 7, And he said to them, It is not for you to know. Okay. The times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own authority okay the so not notice how he doesn't say it's not for us to know but he or he doesn't say, say he doesn't no, stop please pay attention to the context I, I don't, don't jump content. so no so why doesn't he say i told you guys already i don't know okay but instead he answers and says 
It's not for you to know the done? times that the, uh, the Father has fixed. So how Jesus compares the, his coming, he compares it to a Jewish wedding in chapters previous to this. He compares this, this, the coming of the Son of Man to a Jewish wedding. And according to tradition in the Jewish wedding, it's the Father that announces the day of the wedding. It's not the, bro the groom or the but bride. Knows, right? the, yes, they okay. know. But they're not the one that makes it known. They're not the one who declares it. I'm let you so this is the point. The point is, it's not a point of ignorance, but it's a point of declaration.